Hi and welcome to this Blender tutorial. My name is Miss, and today I'll show you a little thing about making non-destructive text on curves in Blender. It seems sometimes that you can get into some weird stuff happening and a lot of time if you want to make bent text you have to uh, convert the text from uh, original text that you can edit into mesh. But that is not always necessary, but you can come across a few obstacles and I will show you here how they look and how to fix them. So let's start to make a, a little scene here just for fun. I'm going to make um, a sphere here and let's just say for good old sake make an old like new scene you know and I have got here my shader open and let's give this a material let's call this earth I'll then add an image texture to that and open let's find some earth map for this and we'll just add this on here to the base color as you see here we now have earth then in a regular or new section you will see a uh, text swirling around the earth here so we're going to do that and we'll see what is going on and what problems we need to fix so let's start by adding curve we we'll go to curve circle and i'll scale this up a bit so we have some distance between the text and the earth i'll then need to add some text and we can have the text here press tab to edit delete and we will say saturday news press tab again and we have here let's go to this up so we can see it saturday news and we have a little bit of fun with the text here so i'll just tap into the text use the alt key plus the arrow keys change a bit of the keying here in between the letters like this i can then go here and scale it down and we go add a modifier to the text and we're going to curve we're going to select the curve now you see here the text is on the curve but the text is the wrong way around so what we do about this is when the text is selected go up here item and set axis which is 180 degrees and now our text is fine already we can see some trouble starting and happening on the front edges here you see weird stuff is going on and we can try then scaling down the text a bit but you will see still our stuff is going on on the front of the text and that is why what we are trying to fix here so first let's give the text here some depth so we go into geometry here and extrude it a bit like this before and then we can go and give it some bevel and I would like to be a flat bevel so I'll take it down here and give it a little bit of bevel and what you see here now with the text which is also a problem with normal text is that it's it's trying to smooth the surface of the text automatically um, <clears throat> which is causing some problems but how to fix this and get the clean cuts here is it's a modifier add modifier and edge split as you see now the text is much cleaner and look a lot better but 
We're still having problems on the faces here. We can try to give the texture some material. Let's darken it a bit. Let's give it some reflection here. I'm telling you, oh, now we really can see the errors, right? And the, the point of this is we can convert this into mesh uh, before we bend it and then the problem is there, it, it is non-editable. It's non non, uh, not possible to change the text. But what I would like to do is show you how you can do this in a non-destructive way. So what we're going to do now is we have made the text, we have made the, the extrusion, we have made the bevels. So we go to the modifier and we add a remesh and this looks horrifying but we're going down here to the remesh select sharp and remove uh, disconnections and then we're going to set this to 10 and as you see now the text is full again but we still have the errors on the front and we do that because the remesh is the last modifier we added so we need to put the modifier up before we curve the text. We take here and drag it up, buff, and now you see the text is going better and better. One problem we have then here you see is the edges, especially on the S. Here you see we have a lot of edges, but we go into text and up here we have resolution. We set this to 30 or 40 and you will see this will smooth out a lot. Let's try 40 and then the next problem we have is that on the front somewhere you see we have these weird lines going on. And it took me a while to figure out as well how to fix this because this is not very good looking. But the problem here is actually the curve we are on. So what you need to do to fix this is go to select the curve and then rise the resolution of the curve. So let's put 400 here. And now look at the text. Nice, clean, smooth text. And all non-destructive, I can just press tap and I can edit the text. Um, wireframe mode you see I can edit the text as I see fit press tab again and we're back to normal and everything now is non-destructive text on curve and it's going to look a lot better let's go here and let's try to do like this And we can add, let's just check it out here, add objects, worlds. We can do this, actually, we can do this by, uh, oh, I have the app update. <laughs> Sweet. Good timing. Um, we can add a uh, noise uh, of some, let's try this one here. And we can add this into color of the background. To give it some reflection stuff and of course you can see this in the background you're not going to do that i'm going to um turn this into black white like this and we are going over here to film and we're going to make the background transparent as you see here but now we got the lights from the background, which also can cause reflection on the text and so on. And the text is nice, smooth and non-destructive. I hope you can use this for some of your projects out there. I know I'm happy that I found the solution after some work with this and uh, have a nice day.